Even the top doctors in Europe didn't realize that your heart pumps blood around your body, until he came along. The common belief was that your liver produced blood, and your heart circulated air and heat through your body, as well as part of your blood. Imagine the commotion in 1628, when he produced a book that outlined exactly how the entire circulatory system operated, from your heart to your arteries and veins. He was perfectly correct, although his work challenged a long-held view. Many other doctors refused to trust him and dismissed his beliefs as irrational. He was a talented doctor who had dazzled his medical school professors. He was employed as the chief physician at St. Bartholomew's Hospital in London almost immediately after graduating from university, where he provided free medical care to the impoverished. His reputation expanded quickly, and he was chosen to offer an ongoing series of public lectures to explain anatomy and medicine to the general public. Soon, affluent people, including members of the nobility, approached him and asked him to be their doctor. He even became the King of England's personal physician. However, when he published his now famous book on the heart and blood circulation, it appeared that he would lose everything. His naysayers, on the other hand, had underestimated his brilliance and perseverance. He repeatedly demonstrated his theories using tests that demonstrated how the circulation system operated, as well as calculations that demonstrated the impossibility of the notion about blood originating in the liver. Throughout the end, no one could deny the overwhelming evidence, he had certainly achieved a significant advance in medical knowledge. Not only did people finally comprehend how the heart operated, but they were also encouraged to replicate his approach of proven, repeatable studies. While he rose to great renown and money as the physician to monarchs and other wealthy clientele, and as the man who opened the world's eyes to the mysteries of the heart, he never ceased working for the poor. He worked every week at St. Bartholomew's Hospital until he was old, providing free health treatment to patients who couldn't afford to hire a doctor. Despite being the doctor of choice for the wealthy, royalty, and even the King of England, brilliant William Harvey never stopped providing free treatments to the underprivileged. William Harvey made the momentous medical discovery that the flow of blood must be continuous and that its flow must be in one direction only. This discovery sealed his place in the history of medicine. Very many maintain that all we know is still infinitely less than all that still remains unknown. William Harvey The heart is the household divinity which, discharging its function, nourishes, cherishes, quickens the whole body, and is indeed the foundation of life, the source of all action. William Harvey A revolutionary theory stating that blood circulates repeatedly throughout the body.